Darwin News. My name is Dylan and I'm here with Christian. Since homecoming is just around the corner, we told Melissa to catch up with homecoming candidates in course this year. Hi, I'm here with Jared and Karina. So it's an honor to be nominated for the homecoming candidates. Uh, I knew it was going to happen. So how do you feel about Jared taking the um, <laughs> 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 laugh. No, uh, it's cool, but um, I just hope he doesn't trip me out there. Right. And how do you feel about that homecoming game? Uh, I feel like it's a, it's a big game, and it's a district game that we have to win so we get to our goal. Well, I wish both of y'all the luck. Thank you for your time. Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm here with Judah and JC. So do you feel honored by being one of the homecoming candidates? Yes, I'm very honored. Have you picked out your dress yet? I have not, but I have a lot of options. So how do you feel about the homecoming game? I mean, we're not too worried about the homecoming game right now. We got Weatherford and Elgin to worry about before that, but it should be a good game. Y'all should come out and watch. Okay. Well, I wish both of y'all good luck, and thank you for your time. Hi, I'm here with Zeke and Brooklyn. So is it an honor to be nominated for one of the homecoming candidates? Yes, it is. So what are you most excited for? I'm excited to get to ride on top of a car because that's been my dream since I was like five. And I'm excited to get to walk with this guy. So, how do you feel about the homecoming game? Well, I'm going go out there thinking they can't hold me like I do every week. <laughs> they ain't ready for this. They ain't ready. <laughs> Bring it to me. Well, good luck to both of y'all. Thank you. Two, three. Back to y'all at the desk. Oh. I heard they've been practicing paper mache skills in Mr. Reynolds' class this week. <laughs> yep. They've been doing it. Sarah caught up with Mr. Reynolds to talk about the paper mache they're doing in class. This is Sarah with Dogwood News, and I'm here with the anatomy teacher, Mr. Reynolds. So what are the anatomy classes doing this week? Okay, so this week they're learning about the skull, and so one of the ways is they have to make their own paper mache skull. Uh, and then they have to color and label all the individual bones so that when they take a test, they are prepared. Because there's a lot of bones in the skull. Do you think the students will learn more about the skull since it's more hands-on work and not strictly book work? I hope so. Since you're in that class, do you think that it's benefiting you in any way? Yes. That's fantastic. <laughs> do we want to look and see, watch some people, some yes. fantastic students, they're making their paper mache skulls right now. It's magical. Okay, so what we do is we start off with a styrofoam head. We cover the face with aluminum foil, paper mache over the top of it, and let it dry. Then we pull the face off. We'll take a balloon, blow it up, stick it to the back of the face, and then paper mache that. And then voila, we have a completed skull. We also have, I'm here with homecoming candidate Karina Garcia, and I'm here with her talking about her skull she made in anatomy. So what are you hoping to learn by making these skulls? I'm hoping to learn more about the skull and all the bones that are in the skull. Do you feel like you're learning more because it's more hands-on and it's oh, yeah. out of the textbook? And... Yeah, oh yeah. It feels, it feels um, good she doesn't to... doesn't even go to the school! Really, really. I, let's take a look at your skull. <laughs> I didn't realize what it was at first. And I Can we do that again? Go. I heard Mr. Probe's class is doing something cool this week. Yeah, I heard they were making podcasts this week. Melissa caught up with him to talk about it. Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm here with Coach Probe. So here you are doing a podcast. What is the process of a podcast? Uh, the process of a podcast is I'll give them a topic. Um, this year it was 9-11, so the September 11th attacks. They gather all their research, they gather all their images they want to use for the podcast, they make a script, they move all their images over to the, uh, the Mac computers, um, they then put those in order that matches up with the storyboard that they made earlier, they'll use voiceovers to tell the story of the event, and when they're finished they publish it to iTunes so they can put it on their mobile phones or iPads. So how are the kids doing? Are they really comfortable with it or are they asking a lot of questions? Well, it was the first one we did this year, so they kind of started out asking a lot of questions, but you know, after the, the week went by, they got pretty comfortable with it. So hopefully now they won't have a problem doing it again. Okay, well, thank you for talking to thank us. You. Is there anything else you would like to say? That's it. All right, back to y'all after this. So me and Kaylee caught up with Mr. Moore to talk about the History Club. So Mr. Moore, what do y'all do in the History Club? We talk about history. What <laughs> kind of history? Old history. Do you believe it's coming up? Yeah. Yes, we're planning. We, we were planning on going today, 
or tomorrow actually, to the Comanche Nation Museum, but that has fallen through. So after fall break, we're going to take a, a trip to the 45th Infantry Museum in Oklahoma City, the Thunderbird Museum. That sounds interesting. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Gonna miss you. Come back again anytime. I'm Casey here with Mr. Moore talking about the History Club. So, what days do y'all meet? On Thursdays. What? Time? Thursdays. What time on Thursdays? <laughs> Lunch. Okay. We caught up with Coach Gibson and Coach Angie about the basketball season. I'm here with Coach Angie, the new head basketball coach. We're here to ask him a few questions. Uh, how is your first year as being a ninth grade algebra one teacher going? It's going good. Kids are working hard. Um, we pretty much do work every day, which they kind of get tired of, but in math you have to do that. And so um, they come in every day, work hard, classes are going good. Um, and so I've been really pleased with the way they've been doing things. That's good, that's good. Uh, how do you think your basketball team is going to be this year? Um, well, that's, that's really a good question because we have a lot of people um, that maybe haven't got a lot of playing time in uh, previous years, but um, we're pretty deep. We've got a lot of kids that can play. Uh, which is good for competition-wise. You know, everybody's always playing for a spot. Uh, your spot's never uh, safe, and so everybody's got to come in and work hard every single day. And uh, that makes it that makes it that much more competitive when you go to uh, you know put players in. You know they they got they got to work hard each and every day, knowing that someone's on their tail wanting to take the spot from. Them, so it sounds like you're gonna have a good team this year. Well, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for the interview. Appreciate it. I'm here with the assistant coach, Coach Gibson, of the basketball team. Uh, how was your first year as a teacher being? Man, it's been good. You know, it's been a blessing to be here. It's exciting. I got a good support group. Uh, I knew a lot of people before I came here, and I knew Coach Andrew, so that's really you know helped along the way. But everything's been smooth so far. You know, first semester's halfway over. And it's been good. So that's good. Been good so far. Uh, how, you, how far do you think your basketball team gonna go? Man, I know a lot of people are down this, but. Uh, We've been putting in work. We have a lot of guys in off season with this, and uh, they were surprising. It's gonna be a good year. That's good. That's good. All right. Well, uh, thank you, and uh, that's pretty much it. All right. Appreciate it. Melissa and Alex caught up with Miss Hoyt to talk about the senior paper. Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm here with Miss Hoyt. So, how do you feel about the process going with the senior paper and stuff? We're doing fantastic. We have hit the part where we are going to be turning in the rough draft which is six of the ten pages that are required. So how do you fit all of this into your schedule? Because I know you stay after class. Today. I do. I stay late after school, and I come in on Saturdays and Sundays. So if you're a senior, you should come see me to get help. So is there anything else you'd like to know, like any updates on it? or? Um, the only thing I really have is I'm really proud of my students. They're doing a fantastic job. They're staying on top of it. They're asking really good questions. Um, I just love them to death. They're doing so fantastic. Well, thank you for talking to us. Back to you all at the desk.